Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to pretty much program a Ford transponder key. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get a transponder key for your car. For example, you can go on eBay and you can go and order transponder keys. Like this is a Type S key that came with the car. And what you're going to do is you got to go on eBay and find out what kind of key your car needs. Now you can find this easily because many times they'll have a whole listing of models when you buy the keys. The first thing you got to do is got to get the key. Then you go to take the key to your local locksmith and then get it cut. You're going to need at least one key for this. So you got to have them duplicate your original key. And then what you got to have is you got to program it. Now, what you need to do is you need to get two keys. I'm only going to show off two keys, and I've already programmed the third key, so I'm just going to point to show you how you're going to have to do it on the car. You're going to need two keys, and then the key you're going to program. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is you got to stick the key in the ignition. Once you've got the key cut, and everything at your local place, which will cut keys for you. You stick it in. You turn it on for about a second and turn it off. So basically you go to the on and then you take that key out and quickly put in the second key. And then once you put in the second key and do the same thing, like pretty much. Once you do it with the second key, what you're going to have to do is quickly take the third key you pretty much had cut at the local locksmith. And you turn it for a second and then turn it off. The theft light should do something if it did it correctly. If you're having issues, then you'll have to take it into a dealer. Also, <coughs> another thing to note is that if you pretty much, if you are having issues with programming it, I mean, getting the key to fit, you'll have to take it to a dealer. Especially if it's an older car, you might have to take it to a locksmith instead of a dealer because the dealer for Ford cars will only go up to 2004. And the other thing to note is if you only have one key, you'll also have to take it to the dealer because the dealer will program it straight into the computer as a security feature because it will only work with two keys to program the key due to the fact it's a security feature. However, Walmart and similar stores for 65 bucks will clone your original key so you can actually use the key with your car. And, but the only problem is if you're going to make a third one with this method, it will not work as security system will actually see the key you got cloned at Walmart as the same key. So you'll have to only make new keys at Walmart for 65 bucks. And I'd recommend if you have two keys, just go on eBay or Amazon and get the key blank and have it cut. Because after all, when it works, as this is the key I got cut, as you can see, it has a little bit of issue because of all the wear. Look here. Starts right up with the key. And that's all you need to know. It works with the key. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.